Welcome back to The Sims 4. Today we're going to be taking a look at a more modern build, which isn't my strong suit, uh, but this build is kind of strange because it literally came to me in a dream. Um, I, <laughs> I'm not uh, lying when I say that. I dreamed about this build, or at least the inside of it, so I kind of had to get it out of my head. It was one of those things that kind of stayed with me for the rest of the day after I woke up. So I had to get out of my head and build it in The Sims, or at least try to build it. Uh, and of course, because The Sims 4 doesn't have a certain th item, I kind of took some creative liberties when it came to those kinds of parts of the dream. But this house is eclectic, <laughs> to say the least. As you would assume a dream house, literal dream house would do because there's some weird stuff going on inside. But I decided to make it a little more modern, which I think this was probably around when the modern, uh, the eco lifestyle pack came out, which has more modern aspects to it, lots of stone windows and uh, the stone wallpapers and these uh, these boards which I really like. I use them in my brewery build um, and then I used the astroturf on the roof and there's the solar roofing there and solar panels on the roof and wind turbines so this is definitely an eco home and then I love the eco lifestyle windows with um, the stone and I used a lot of the doors from there so let's just zoom around here to show off the outside this isn't in the best place I literally just have this in my build save where I do most of my building. This is in the Newcrest neighborhood and there's a, an entrance, entrance right there which we'll talk about once we get inside. There's lots of greenery which I enjoy. Uh, again I took some creative liberties and added things and decorations that I didn't see in my dreams but the general layout of the house is what was in my dream. So let's go ahead and get into the house. Okay whenever we walk up onto the door we have a nice seating area out here with a little heated little coffee table and just a nice cozy place to sit out, have some drinks, chat with your neighbors or your friends, and again greenery galore just to make a nice environment. You can see into the dining room from here you have this big door which has the stone door frame which I really like. And we're using these the wooden boards that I like on the outside and we continue using them on the inside and then there's some other industrial aspects like these cement pillars just to make it like a more modern industrial type feel so we go inside and we have stairs up, uh, going upstairs we have um, platforms which I when I started building this house platforms were not implemented yet they were not in the game and then by the time platforms came out I was still working on this house so I decided to put platforms in here because I thought they would look really nice and split up the space really nicely especially the dining room from the kitchen and the dining room into the living area uh, but when you walk in you can see there's some strange things going on. So in my dream There was a library in the central part of this house that you could access from inside the house and Upstairs there was like you walked out and you could look down into the library and so 
in my head when I was building this, I made it so there was an outside entrance as well. So this could be a house or this could be a library. Um, and so the public can have access to your library, I guess. And then over here, you see that there's uh, a light that I'm stepping into. Uh, no, you see that there's these weird stone there's weird stones going on well this was like the weird part of my dream there was like this weird stone temple room that was just also like a secret access into the library so I'll talk about that in a bit but that's kind of the weird part of this house the weirdest part of this house um, but let's go through the normal parts for first. So we step over here and we have the kitchen, which has uh, a view into the library and you can see there's seating in there. So you can sit in there while you're waiting for dinner or like, you know, send the kids in there to do their homework. You can watch them while you're cooking dinner, but just a nice, clean, simple kitchen with a nice island with seating and it's pet friendly and then up here again I wanted to separate the space with the platforming tool so you go walk up here you have the dining area which is just simple sleek dining table um, which seats eight so if you have a big family or you have your friends over um, you can entertain a lot of guests and then the bathroom is through here and I remember in my dream this was like a weird octagon it was a weird shape there were um, like corner bits so I kind of tried to do that but it didn't quite work so we only have a few diagonal corners and I had a really hard time with this because I wanted to do like a cool shower thing and it just wasn't working so this is what I ended up with I don't think it's awful and again we have the stone door frames which are nice kind of breaks up the space a little bit gives you a little privacy whenever you walk in and if there's you know someone on the toilet when you you don't quite see them yet um but just a nice bathroom and then and here we have you step down into the laundry room and then there's a litter box and for your cat to use which I do like to try and find like a secluded place for the laundry or yeah well for the laundry but also for the litter box just because in real life you'd want it out of the way so it's not smelling up your whole house so uh, that was a nice place to put it uh, so then through here you have this giant gorgeous sliding glass door uh, through here you step down into the living room which I love this in my dream it was a converted garage this was a garage converted into a living room that's why I put these doors like they're obviously modern wooden doors, but to me they kind of they could they could open up and be like a garage door, and that's also why I put things kind of close to it to just signify that this isn't being used as a door anymore. Um, but I really like how this turned out, and then we have the giant windows with curtains that look like they would close fully so you can have like a whole cinema moment in here because you have this giant television on the wall um, and you got a popcorn machine and refreshments and a console and just this seems like a very cozy place to hang out kind of low light the lighting is not centralized in the room it's either on the wall over there and um, just dispersed throughout the room rather than having like lights hanging from the ceiling which I like I think it helps make a cozy vibe and I remember I had a lot of fun just like throwing decorations and stuff this is the main entrance from the house into the giant library but we can go through this because this is the weirdest part so I worked so long on this house that um, the paranormal pack came out before I um, put this on the galleries, which this is available on the gallery. But so I actually ended up making this a seance room. Before this, there was no seance table in here, but 
and you could, obviously if you don't have that pack you don't need to use the seance table this is just literally specifically from my dream right like this doesn't this is not necessary at all you could turn this into another bathroom or a gym or something but I turned it into this weird temple seance room and I kind of dig it so there's a seance table and then there's the mystery door that takes you into the library and then when you're in the library you see there's just stacks and stacks of books you walk through that light um <laughs> there's the door that takes you outside so this is like the public entrance if you're gonna use it as a library um very nice and then as you can see up there there's like office I put the office up there so you can work upstairs, look down on whoever's in the library, and then of course a glass ceiling because why not? I love those. I love the glass roofs. So why not have some natural light? Especially whenever there's the dark bookcases and I remember I went back and forth with what bookcases I wanted to use. I kept using the ones from Strangerville which I think are the ones on the ends and then I did I finally did the ones in the middle as well I really like how it turned out and I did like the darker wood in here which is different from the rest of the house and through a window I was gonna put windows like there's that window up there I was gonna put a window up there and then I decided not to so I just put some paintings maybe that were you know left over or just no longer on display so now we can go upstairs and what I did under the stairs here I really enjoy. It's just like a little zen garden that you only see from the stairs. And then when you go upstairs you see the other side which also goes outside. And you can look down and you can see all the greenery from what's behind that wall. Which I really enjoy. Again we have the wooden boards. And we have some bright, more bright colors up here. So up here we have like another little seating area and that actually is a Murphy bed. So this will be another place to sleep. So if you have guests hanging out or staying over or um, have more than the more sims in the household than there are beds in the bedrooms, this is an option. Here you can see this is where you go and look down into uh, the library and we got a desk with a computer over here we have a chess table again skill building is very important in the sims so you can just come in here and chill out hang out get your work done so let's go into here first I think this is a oh no it's a teen tween bedroom which are my favorite to do I say that all the time, but they are my favorite. Just like throwing random stuff on the walls. I had fun with the colors, um, which I do like to do as well. And then just throwing different posters and stuff. And they have a place where they can do their homework. Over here, I'm assuming this is a bathroom. Yeah, this is the bathroom. Just a simple bathroom. Then you can go out here, which kind of got neglected but you can have your own garden uh, grow plants in these upright things kind of just make it whatever you want and then over here I'm assuming is toddler yeah oh this was fun so yeah this was the first thing I tried the new um, platforming tool on so this is a kids bedroom very bright colorful and uh, has a lot of skills for the skill building for the kids but it's cool because I think only kids can get up here they're they're short enough that they can get up here so you have their twin bed and then a creativity table but like little fairy lights and maybe they drew those on the table um, and then they just kind of have their own little space up here, which I thought was really cool. I know I would have loved that as a kid. And through here, we have the master. 
which again is just a simple master bedroom. This is actually probably the most simple one I've done, to be honest. And then I'm assuming there's a bathroom. Yeah, oh, I really like this bathroom. Yeah, I've spent more time on the bathroom. That was more special than the bedroom. Yeah, there. We have like a whole little spa moment where you can just come and do a nice soak in this giant tub and maybe have, you know, some aromatherapy going on, music, just have a nice zen time. You got your lights around, there's a shower here, but I, yeah, I wanted this to be like a nice peaceful place. Yeah, that's the, this build. Uh, it took a very long time to build. Uh, actually, let me check how long. All right, so I uploaded this on May 7th of 2021 but the here's a first iteration of it which was <laughs> March 27th of 2020 so yeah and that's the first iteration of it pretty bleak just like a cinder block and then as you just saw the final iteration which I don't even think Eco Lifestyle was out yet when I started this, so I'm. I think I definitely waited till it came out, and then other things came out as well. So if you want to download this from the gallery, it's available on Caitlin MM08 on The Sims 4 Gallery. I used a ton of packs, as you can see, um, but you can always download this and my other things that are on the gallery other buildings and sims and yeah this is one of my more re recent builds so if you'd like to download it feel free to do so and i hope you enjoyed my tour